All right, I wanted to quickly go but, uh, over uh, self-esteem and how that works and how that's inextricably tied to our value system and then obviously how the value system of what the world uh, tends to value in people uh, tends to drive our um, concept of ourself or how we feel about ourself or uh, basically um, it can drive our level of happiness and all kinds of other things. So I make it very simple. I'm not going to get into a lot of uh, jargon and um, wacky psychological psychobabble. So we'll just make this real simple. And so I wanted to start off with, let's call this person Joe. And Joe's not really happy right now with how he uh, looks and feels. Maybe he's got a bad hairstyle or something. And I'll just fan this stuff out so you can kind of see these are all the uh, things that Joe uses to determine how he feels about himself. So let's call this his, his measuring system. Measuring system. And this is how he that I in there and this is how he determines how he feels about himself so let's say currently he looks at his level of success and that's pretty low so he's he's got a thumbs down on that it's not doing so hot on the success level let's see the amount of money he has also is pretty low um, he's he doesn't have a lot of that then the other thing, let's say, he doesn't have any of is status because of his place in society, his station in life. So he's also uh, lacking in that department as well. And I'll use a different color here. Let's say that so this doesn't get monotonous. Uh, let's say the other thing that he has is a, is a metric that he uses to evaluate himself are his looks, which is very, very popular that people use. And let's say another one that he uses is, uh, what else? Um, he might use his, um, he might use his relationships, the types of relationships he has, uh, or how well they are, uh, how, how they're doing, um, or how many of them he has, so relationships. If that's if those aren't doing well, those those will also affect how he feels about himself. And let's say another metric that he might use um, might be uh, uh, he doesn't like his personality. So we say personality because he's not happy with that. He wishes he had a different personality. And let's say the other thing is that he's. Uh, not too happy about how what he was given or let's say his uh, let's say his his uh, intelligence level we'll just say something like that intelligence among other things and then just to keep this simple there's all kinds of other things that drive this which are basically his values his attitudes that he has and those types of things and other beliefs. Now, here's the thing that also drives uh, these this uh, sort of uh, system that he's built to measure his uh, his happiness level. Is uh, we'll say in order to Joe's equation in order to be happy in order for Joe to be happy. He has a an equation a plus b plus c equals uh, g squared. So Joe has a happiness equation, and Joe walks around in life, and he's got all these little metrics that he's using constantly to determine his level of happiness. And the other thing that uh, we have to bring in is uh, which are even more important out here are the sum of Joe's experiences thus far. Experiences. So the sum of Joe's experiences uh, tally up to this magic equation, 
which is G2. We'll call that G2. And that's that's basically the the sum total of all these pieces that Joe has factored into his happiness equation. And he says if this has been met, this is G2, the sum of everything equals G2, then I'm happy. And Joe is Joe is elated. The problem with that equation is that it's a broken equation. Let's call this the world. So I'll draw a world here. It's a pink world. And there's all these people out into this world that are standing out there, people. What happens is he does this thing that's called a comparison. And in order for him to do that comparison, this is what he's evaluated himself against on these metrics. He looks out into the world and he looks at what everyone else has and what they're doing. And he might look at their whatever uh, information they're broadcasting about themselves, whether it's through their uh, language, through what they say about themselves, stories, uh, maybe new you know social networking ways that he can look into their lives and see what's going on. And he can see Facebook, he can see emails, he can see all kinds of different things. So he creates this kind of like a uh, picture of of a scoring chart in his head. And he scores these people based on uh, what he values and what he thinks um, is important based on his own interpretation of what he thinks is important. And he basically scores people. And what he does is he tries to do, if when he's lacking in any of these areas, if he has a minus 42 or a minus 10 or uh, a minus 5 or whatever he's got a, that's you know keeping his happiness score down, when he looks out into the world and he's comparing against everyone else's scores that might be higher than his, there's some total of G2, whatever the society has society has determined as the what you should have in order to be happy which is the sum total or let's say it's g3 right the society's equation for what you should have in order to be happy and when he looks outside of himself and he sees this gap he sees this uh, divide of uh, you know oh something's broken here there's a gap of you know what I should, what I think I should have, and what I do have. And what he does, is he seeks to close that gap. And uh, this is unconsciously. He will go out uh, and create what's this is like a tether, if you will. And he will try to plug in in some odd dysfunctional way to um, the outside world and uh, try to basically close that gap um, between what he thinks he should have and what the world thinks he should have and so on and so forth so he can be happy again and raise his happiness score. So what he does is he will basically um, look for external sources um, and that could be out here which are uh, symbols to the, of, uh, that the world uses for storytelling. And what he does is that might be money that might be power, and that might be status, and that might be cars, expensive cars, you know, race cars, whatever it is, a house, could be a big house, any types of status symbols that uh, could represent to the world um, that he has, or, you know, the, these things that uh, the world values based on their equation. He's hoping that he can raise his score, um, which is his currency. I'm gonna call this currency, and we'll call it social currency. And so externally, basically, everyone is trying to raise these scores inside of here through external means by means of displaying these symbols uh, of value that the world values. So you have uh, 
with you know what society values here values of society and society values money status power looks all these things and they have scores attached to it and if you were to branch out you could make you know uh, a scoring system of of how society values people and what society values in itself uh, that it deems important and valuable and so what everyone is trying to do is match this uh, quotient out here in order to raise their happiness score and when they are able to attain these things that society values then suddenly they will increase their value will go up this is what they hope that their value will go up and then in so doing it will rectify all of these deficiencies that they use to evaluate themselves in the first place and that they will raise those scores which in turn will drive their happiness quotient score to go up what they find though is that this system is broken and it doesn't work to try to get it through external means because as they reach out into the world and try to gain these uh, these scores and these symbols of value uh, what they find is they they um, it doesn't make them happy and that uh, attaining these things and raising their their score in society's eyes uh, is only a inter intermittent or a, a temporary fix or a band-aid for happiness and then they're unhappy again so when they get money and suddenly society values them they have money now uh, that didn't that fixed it temporarily it didn't work they got a house suddenly they became valuable they invited people over suddenly uh, that only worked for a little bit of time now that's gone then they maybe became famous um, became a star or something and got fame and then that went away and then they were unhappy again so every time you seek these external means of uh, of, of, of embracing what society values so that you can determine your value based on what society values and hoping to feel valuable which will increase your self-esteem and how you feel about yourself it gets broken and it never works the only way that one can uh, increase their level of happiness is to change their concept of their scoring system internally and that is driven by gratitude when you're able to increase your gratitude or your level of gratitude for what it is you have and that you learn to accept these deficiencies or you work on them but you're still you know gratitude for what you do have your happiness quotient uh, gets changed uh, and it goes up automatically it's not uh, lowering your standards and it's not uh, um, lowering uh, the bar so that you can be happier it's simply being gracious and having gratitude for the things you do have and the comparison works in a different way instead of comparing to what you don't have you compare things on what you do have because uh, there's always someone who does not have some of the things you do not have and so in turn you can value the things that you do have even more and have compassion for those that don't have what you have instead of trying to run up and keep up with the Joneses with this uh, with basically how our society is driven and how it's designed for its happiness quotient up here so when you increase your gratitude for these things that you do have and you learn to like yourself for what you do have and you seek to uh, gain your happiness internally and move more for, to an internal control of your own happiness and you start to work on maybe some of these things but you're happy with yourself in general you'll find that you'll no longer need these status symbols or these symbols that of what society values and you'll probably find that your values will be different than societies and that that's okay and I'll talk more about uh, what types of things drive um, our sense of uh, feeling good about ourselves when we embrace gratitude and how we can at least continue to either change our metrics that we use to evaluate our happiness um, and stop comparing ourselves to the, the, the world you know society's values in the next video and I'll talk a little bit more about how um, you can either work on these still and still be okay and you know embrace the I'm okay you're okay and I'll, I'll thanks I'll do that next in the next video